the 2023 Ford Super Duty is finally here and now it's time to get your order placed. In this video, we're going to tell you everything you need to know about the different packages, options, trim levels, and things like that to make sure that you're ordering the perfect Super Duty for yourself. So let's jump right into the video. Now, the first thing I want to make sure that I mention is there are going to be quite a few different options, trim levels, and things that you're going to have to be considering like late availability. For instance, the King Ranch, the Platinum, and the Limited will all be a job too. So sometime in the spring of 2023 is when those vehicles will start to get scheduled for production. So it's very important that you realize that if you want one of those, you need to go ahead and put your order in now, but understand it won't get scheduled right away. There is also going to be a slew of different options that are going to be available, but they're not going to be available to order right there at the launch time. So if you're wanting any of those options you see on the screen, you're going to need to go ahead and get the order placed and make sure that your dealer places Places the order with a priority code 99 so that way it doesn't get scheduled accidentally for production before those options come available. I do want to let you know before we go any further in the video that I have scoured through 32 pages of this ordering guide to make it easier for you to understand how to order your Super Duty. There's a couple of ways you can pay us back for this time and effort. Number one is watch the video all the way through and then like this video as well. And two, if you got enough value out of it, reach out to us and order your brand new Super Duty with one of our two locations located in Bessemer in Pell City, Alabama. So without further ado, let's go ahead and finish up with the rest of the video. I've got some huge things, so you're going to want to stay all the way through this video to check it all out. But anyways, let's talk about the engines. The base model engine is no longer the 6.2 liter gas engine. That engine made its debut, what, in 2010 in the Raptor? Um, so it's been quite a while since they have updated the base model engine inside of the Super Duty. Now you've got a 6.8 liter V8 gas burning engine. That's going to be standard. Now you also have have an upgraded 7.3 liter gas engine that is also available. But as far as diesels are concerned, you now have two diesel options for your new Super Duty. Number one is going to be the 6.7 liter diesel uh, V8 twin turbo char actually i think it might be a single turbo charger if i'm not mistaken but anyway you have a 6.7 liter diesel engine and you also have the 6.7 high output diesel that is what's brand new for the 2023 model year now i want to drop a bombshell on you guys in this video and you may already know this but and i probably knew it already as well but i didn't quite realize how crazy this is until i said it out loud but did you know that the XL trim level is the only way you can get a two-wheel drive in the new Super Duty? Let that sink in. XLT and above have four-wheel drive standard. I don't recall that happening on previous generations of the Super Duty. But anyways, uh, I do want to let you know that all of the new Super Duties have bedside and bumper steps are going to be standard on every single one of the trim levels from here going forward. So those of you guys that don't like the look of that step in the uh, bedside of the vehicle or you think it looks like another competitor's bedside step or <laughs> bumper step, yeah, sorry, but it's going to be standard on every single one of these super duties. But anyways, let's jump into the hitch receivers. So a lot of people don't realize that if you get the F-250 super duty, you get a two and a half inch receiver. But if you step up to the 350 and the 450, you get a full three inch hitch receiver, which is going to be designed for carrying those extra loads. But as far as the body styles are concerned, you've got three different cab configurations. You have the regular cab, the super cab, and the crew cab, which is weird to me because on the F-150, which is basically the same cab, uh, they call it a Super Crew on the 150, but they call it a Crew Cab on a... Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump into the wheelbases. You've got quite a few different versions to choose from, and obviously it's going to uh, uh, depend on which cab configuration you go with, but you have a 142-inch wheelbase, a 148-inch wheelbase, a 160, 164, and 176. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, the most popular option by far, not even close, is going to be the crew cab with a 160 wheel inch wheelbase. That is a six and three quarter foot box, uh, just to kind of put that in perspective. So the crew cab with the short box is going to be the most popular without question. Now, by the way, if you're new to the truck world and you're not quite sure, the wheelbase is the measurement from the front wheels to the back wheels, the center of those wheels. How long is it the wheelbase? It's what 
what that is. But anyways, let's talk about fuel tanks. But before I do that, I want to let you know that I've got every single item that we're talking about here is going to be linked down below in those chapter cards so that way you can jump around to the option or the trim level or the feature that you want to see. Now, once again, this video is going to be packed with a lot of good information, so you're not going to want to skip around. But in case you're running short on time, make sure to use those chapters down below. But as, anyways, the 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 Super Duty has quite a few different, I think two or three different uh, versions of the gas tanks or diesel tanks, depending on what, what engine you've got. But very first is going to be the 29 gallon diesel tank. That is going to be included on the 142 inch wheelbase or the 148 inch wheelbase, which by the way, uh, I need to guess I need to mention this, that the size of your fuel tank is not dependent on an option, but rather what wheelbase you select. Uh, so for instance, if you are wanting the 34 inch, ga uh, 30, 34 inch, <laughs> the 34 gallon diesel fuel tank, that is going to be included on the 160 and the 164 inch wheelbase. 48 gallon gas tank is going to be included on the 176 inch wheelbase and that's for gas and the diesel. So keep that in mind as well. But shifting gears for just a second, let's talk about the infotainment system that you can get on these brand new Super Duties because that's kind of what Ford is touting is that it's brand new, you know, technology and they did, they loaded a lot of technology in these trucks. And so it's important that we talk about that. Right now we have uh, the eight inch touchscreen with uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is now standard on the XL and the XLT. And uh, if you were looking for that 12 inch big touchscreen, that's gonna be included as an option on XLT and standard on Lariat King Ranch Platinum and the Limited. So pretty cool stuff there. But since we're on the topic of like touch screens and the infotainment system, let's talk about audio for a second. If you get the XL trim level, you just get the standard four speakers, you know, one in the, two in the front, two in the back. Um, and then on the XLT, you get seven speakers, except for the regular cab. When you go with the regular cab, I think it bumps you back down to those four speakers. But when you pick up the Lariat, you pick up the interesting point is the Bang & Olufsen sound system with eight speakers. Now keep in mind, there's ways that you can get some of these in different trim levels. Like you can get the B&O in the XLT as an option, but I'm just trying to cover like the standard stuff right now. But where it gets really interesting is when you look at the King Ranch and also uh, the other trim levels, King Ranch, Platinum, Limiteds, those kinds of things. With that, you get standard B&O Unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> which is basically a Ford's ridiculous audio system that has 18 speakers in that small cab. Um, I, I've heard it in the F-150 in a couple different versions and like Expeditions, and they really do a good job with those audio systems, especially for the money. Oh, which, by the way, money, we're not going to be talking about pricing in this video because uh, <laughs> as sure as I'm sitting here, there's going to be continual price increases on these particular trucks. Um, just know that our dealership, when you order with us, you're going to be paying MSRP and not a penny more when you order your vehicle through Town & Country Ford in Bessemer and Pell City, Alabama. But anyways, um, getting back to technology for just a quick second. Ford Pass Connect, that is going to be standard across the lineup. And if you're not sure what Ford Pass Connect is, that is the smartphone app that you pick up in your vehicle that allows you to remotely lock, remotely unlock, remotely start the vehicle. Or if you are using this in like a fleet application uh, and you own the truck and you're letting uh, your buddy go drive the vehicle or another coworker drive the vehicle and he just no shows on you, you can pull up and find out exactly where he is if that's something you're interested in doing. But um, I do want to let you know that there are quite a few different axle options. And I know I'm jumping all over the place. There's just so much to cover, as I already showed you in that 32-page document. Um, but uh, I'm trying to get this information to you as fast as I possibly can and, and respect your time. So if nothing else, hit that thumbs up for that. But anyways, axle opportunities. You have 3.31 gear ratio is going to be your, your lowest gear ratio. I guess that would be the highest gear ratio. You have a 3.31 all the way up to a 4.3, uh, which is available. And you can pretty much do that in a non-limited slip, a limited slip, or an electronic lock locking differential. Keep in mind, all of that is going to be dependent on the options you select, the package you select, the engine you select. Uh, also, whether or not you got a dually, uh, which is the dual rear wheel, 
them, them wide boys. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's talk a little bit about some of these packages, and I want to start off with the Sport Appearance Package. The Sport Appearance Package is going to be available on the XLT and the Lariat non-dual rear wheels. This package is basically Ford's way of trying to delete a lot of the chrome. Now, it doesn't get rid of everything, but it's designed to make it look more sporty by getting rid of the chrome bumpers in the front and the rear and the chrome grille and all that kind of stuff. It's designed to be more dark color, not necessarily the black appearance package, but just to get rid of some of that chrome. So pretty cool little setup there. Now there are some limitations to that package, so uh, just check on the screen if you uh, are interested in any of that. As far as the trimmer is concerned, that is going to be an option, that or a package really, that is available on top of the XLT, the Lariat, King Ranch, and the Platinum. Not available in the XL, not available in the Limited, something you need to know. And that package also requires the four-wheel drive system, uh, and it, uh, I mean, obviously it's an off-road package, but <laughs> this it also requires the 6.7 liter diesel or the 7 liter, 7.3 liter gas engine. So just know that there are some limitations to what you can package um, that trimmer package with. Now, I will also tell you that there is a uh, more of a budget version of the trimmer available on the XL. That is coming up more in the video. So, you know, later, later on in the video. So make sure you don't go anywhere. Now let's take a look at the F-250 high capacity axle upgrade package. This is going to be an optional package across the board but it is going to be standard on limited because that package is automatically included in every vehicle that has the high output 6.7 liter diesel, which by the way, the limited comes standard with the high output engine. Now, this next thing is going to be really interesting. When I was doing my research for this, I was like, whoa, I didn't realize that, that these numbers have gotten so out of control. But the F450 now has a 40 thousand pound gooseneck trailer tow package <laughs> now keep in mind it does require a two-wheel drive and it also requires the regular cab i believe and it also requires the 6.7 liter high output that's basically telling you that the f450 can now tow 40,000 pounds whereas last year that truck could only do, only <laughs> only do 37,000 pounds but you think about that they're upping at 3,000 pounds in one single model year. That's quite an improvement in my honest, honest opinion. But I, I want to move back on into the technology for just a second. Let's talk about the 360 degree camera package. That is optional on the XL and the XLT and it's going to be standard on the Lariat Plus. Now you get a lot of different things in that particular package, um, so feel free to check the list right there on the screen if you're interested in that. But moving on to the tow technology package, you that is gonna be optional on the XL, XLT, and the Lariat, and it's gonna be standard on the King Ranch Platinum and the Limited models. Ford is touting the fact that these particular trucks are now going to be you know, packed with technology and help you with your fleet and all that kind of stuff. If you're going to be upfitting your vehicle with things like the snowplow prep package, that's probably going to be an option you're going to want to put is this Ford Pro Upfit integration system. Uh, and by the way, that is going to be optional across the entire lineup. Now I want to talk about the Pro Power on board. This is a two kilowatt system, meaning that it can put out two kilowatts of continuous power. So that way, if you're needing to power something like a, um, I don't know, your job site or your tools or some lights or just want to go camping, this is going to be a great option for you. Now, side note, I do wish that you had the ability to go up crazy levels like you do in the F-150 Power Boost, which you can do like 7.2 kilowatts worth of power, or the F-150 Lightning where you can do over 9 kilowatts worth of power, but 2 kilowatts is definitely a great start. But anyways, that option is available uh, as an option on the XL, XLT, and Lariat, and it's going to be standard on the King Ranch Platinum and the Limited trim levels. Now, another thing that was a huge hit for the King Ranch Platinums of the F-150s is now Ford has now brought in the max recline seats into this particular F-250, 350, 450, things like that. That max recline seat works like this. If you're wanting to take a nap at the job site or if you're going to go camping or need to sleep out of your truck or whatever the situation is, as long as you have it your truck optioned correctly, the seat will recline into a completely or near complete flat surface so that way you can take that nap. Now, I've not really understood this particular setup very much because most people that are going to be buying uh, the vehicle that this is available in, which by the way, to get that option, you have to buy the Lariat Ultimate Package, the King Ranch, or the Platinum. 
And, and, and it's optional on those, by the way. So you have to pay for that on top of that. And it is standard in, on the limited. I guess my point is, is that these people that are buying these high, high, high-end trucks to get this from actual client seats, I would argue most of those buyers are not going to be sleeping out of their trucks. <laughs> I think it would be great to have that option available on some of the lower trim levels. But Ford didn't ask my opinion. <laughs> so we're going to move right along. Twin panel moonroof. That is going to be optional on the XLT, Larry King Ranch Platinum, and standard on the Limited. But keep in mind, it's only available with the crew cab, so the four full doors. Cannot get the twin panel moonroof with the short cab configuration. Uh, another new feature for the Super Duty is going to be the interior work surface where you have this nice flat area where you can put your laptop or eat your lunch or whatever. But keep in mind that it's only optional in the XL, XLT and Lariat and it has to have the bench seat for that to work. So that 40-20-40 seat. So it's not going to work with the captain's chairs, which is quite a bummer because I love that feature in my F-150. But as far as uh, some of the other options that you get, you've got the retractable bed step is an optional option optional option <laughs> on all of the trim levels across the board but i want to get back to another feature that we talked about the max recline seats let's let's jump back to the seats for just a second people that buy the king ranch the platinum the limited those people are typically buying that what's what does that what sets that vehicle apart most of the time i would argue the reason that i would go for that particular trim level versus uh, a, a lariat would be something called the multi-contoured seats. That is the m seats that massage your butt and your back. And that was the staple for those three upper trim levels. But unfortunately, inside of this ordering guide, there's an option in there called multi-contour seat removal. Uh, it's available on those King Ranch and above. I, I guess what that tells me is that if you do try and wait it out for a King Ranch or Platinum or Limited, you need to be very well aware, you need to be informed that you might wait a year or a year and a half just to be informed that that particular vehicle does not have the multi-contour seats. Uh, once again, uh, it's a supply chain issue or whatever you want to call it, maybe a supplier issue, I don't know, but I know that that was a thing in the past on the Super Duties. Now the F-150, the, the uh, Expedition, all of the other vehicles that have that as an available option, they are forcing customers to remove that option or they won't build the truck. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but you know, anyways. Before I step back down into the lower trim levels for here just a second, I want to talk about uh, a couple of different colors changes. So there is one version of the blue that they've deleted and they've replaced this with now uh, azure gray and that is going to be available on the Lariat and above trim level. Moving into the STX appearance package, this is going to be available on the XL trim levels and I think it's going to be a big player for this particular trim level or this year model rather for a couple different reasons. One, I think it's actually a really good value for what you get, but I also think that Ford is going to be able to build a little bit more of these than they can these upper trim levels. So anyways, the STX appearance package comes with quite a few different things like 360 degree camera. You get the blind spot information system, a reverse brake assist. So that way if you're backing up, you know, in little Johnny's bikes in the driveway, it can hopefully see that and actually stop for you. And you also get body colored bumpers. So it's a great way to buy more of a budget version of the truck but not actually have to have it look like a work truck which I think is a big big win but I talked a little bit earlier about the XL off-road package and I want to touch on that just again just a little bit now as I mentioned to you earlier this is a budget version of the trimmer package this particular package is going to be probably hard to get uh, scheduled for production if I had to guess you know they came out with the f-150 rattler package and there wasn't really a whole lot of them that they could make and I have a feeling this is going to be very similar with that XL off-road package you're going to be picking up 33 inch off-road or all-terrain tires you've got water fording vent tubes and you even get front air dams for a better approach angle once again better off-roading so if you want the XL but you want a little bit more off-road prowess from the factory that's going to be a great option you might want to consider so there you go now I've already talked about the sport appearance package that's available on the XL and the, and the Lariat version but as you can see right there on the screen you've got quite a few different things the dark grill the body colored bumpers the dark fender badges which by the way the reason I brought this up again the dark fender badges <laughs> I guess it's better than no badges as some of these super duties are getting delivered because would you know it that Ford has run out of their own emblems. <laughs> now I know that there's a lot of crazy things going on in this world so and I know also Ford 
watches these videos that we make. Um, by the way, thank you for, for watching our videos. We appreciate it. Please don't be mad at me. Uh, but I understand that's extenuating circumstances. I can't say that word. That causes us to not be able to run out of those emblems. Let's get on to the XLT Premium Package. Now, this is a package that is going to be requiring of the Sport Appearance Package. So you got to get the Sport Appearance Package on the XLT to get the XLT Premium Package. But basically, what that comes with is 360-degree camera package, blind spot information, heated front seats, banging Olufsen audio sound system with the eight speakers, auto high beams, intelligent access with push button start. You know, that's basically where you don't have the switch blade key anymore. That, I love that feature. You get in the car and you hit the button and the truck already cranks itself up. Uh, I love the fact that they've given us the ability to have this now on an XLT Whereas in the previous, there was a lot of Lariats that didn't even have this on the previous generation. Now let's jump up to that Lariat Ultimate package. If you are looking for the ultimate luxury, but also are kind of in a time crunch to try and get your truck as fast as possible, this would be the package that I might consider recommending to you. The Lariat Ultimate package is gonna come with quite a few different things, such as the Ford Copilot 362.0, once again, great technology. You can see all the things on the screen, but terrible naming. <laughs> Y'all got to come up with a better naming scheme on these particular... Anyways, banging Olufsen with 18 speakers. That's the unleashed version of the audio system that we talked about a little bit earlier. Front sensing, which get this, if it picks up front sensing, it'll automatically kick on the 360 degree camera automatically. You don't have to press any buttons or anything like that. That is a very, very cool feature. The intelligent adaptive cruise control with stop and go. That was actually a big one for me. I did not realize that on the 2023, they have given the adaptive cruise control the ability to come all the way to a complete stop and then resume with just hitting a button once the traffic clears up out of the way. Now that Lariat Ultimate package also happens to come with the heads up display, which was another big feature that Ford was touting when they debuted this particular truck. I believe it's a full color uh, heads up display or may not be a full color, but it even displays things like your truck information right there. So you don't have to look down or look over to the side. You can actually see what's going on right there in the windshield with just the projection. So pretty cool stuff there. But going back to the Lariat Ultimate Package, Power Running Board is also included in there. Tailgate Step, the Tow Technology Package. So once again, I think that is going to be the best way to hopefully get a loaded out truck but not have to wait for job two to particularly get it. Now, I wanna talk about my, my last feature. I kinda of saved the, the funniest for, <laughs> for the last, and that's going to be the fifth wheel and gooseneck prep package. Uh, that is one of the options in the previous generation that was killing orders, that Ford was telling you and recommending you, you gotta take it off if you wanna try and have an opportunity to get it scheduled. Now they were scheduling some trucks with that particular package, uh, just keep in mind that they couldn't build nearly enough of them. So if you're interested in having a gooseneck or a fifth wheel, I would probably recommend having that exact same accessory installed at your dealership or do what we've been doing a lot of, and that's to go with the BMW hitch system. You've got a lot of different options, a little bit more flexibility. Uh, the price point is actually not that bad at all. Uh, we've had really, really good luck with the BMW hitch setups. But anyways, uh, that fifth wheel gooseneck prep package is available available on the XLT all the way up to the Platinum. But what I don't understand is they forced it as standard equipment on the Limited and on the F450. So yet another reason that if you're in a hurry, you might want to stay away from that Limited trim level. Once again, I always recommend if you're trying to get your Super Duty built or really any vehicle built as fast as possible in these weird constraint related times, I highly recommend that you go with the lowest trim level that you can possibly stand and then go with as few options as you can possibly stand. Because keep in mind, every option or accessory you add from the plant adds another supplier that Ford has to engage with to get that vehicle here uh, and to get it built. And so if you've got, you know, 100 different suppliers to build one truck or you've got 50 different suppliers to build a truck, which one do you think is going to be easier to schedule on Ford's end? So if you're in a hurry, go with the lowest trim level, the fewest options, and that's usually the fastest way to get a vehicle built. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel with the bell notification turned on so you don't miss a single video. Peace.